One of the men convicted of killing Michael Jordan's father, James Jordan, in 1993, has filed a motion with the court on his own behalf asking for a new hearing. Daniel Green fired his longtime attorney, Chris Muma, in October. He's now representing himself. WRO's Amanda Lamb spoke with Green from prison about the latest turn of events in this case. Daniel Green has been fighting for his freedom for 30 years. I did not kill uh, James Jordan. I've, I've never killed anybody. Green says he was at a family party at the time James Jordan was killed. He was convicted of the murder in 1996 and sentenced to life in prison. His co-defendant, Larry Demery, testified against him as part of a plea deal. Green believes Demery was coerced to lie in court. They lied and told him that I was uh, saying that I saw him kill Mr. Jordan. I never said that. Uh, that's not true. So, yes, I definitely you know, know for a fact that he was threatened. Green filed a motion with the Robeson County Superior Court, claiming his attorneys failed to represent him adequately. He's asking for a new hearing. You're a hostage. You feel like you're a slave uh, because you've been you know, convicted of something that you didn't do. Green's filing says that the jury did not find him guilty of pulling the trigger. The original jury sheet reflects this. He was convicted under the felony murder rule, a law that says if you take part in a robbery and someone dies, you are just as responsible as the person who pulled the trigger. Yet the state never put on any evidence that Demery shot James Jordan, which Daniel says negates his conviction. My conviction from, 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 from the very moment that I was convicted was invalid, and it, and it still is valid. In the filing, Green also points out that his defense attorneys promised the jury evidence that they never presented, that witnesses saw James Jordan alive after the murder. Daniel believes this directly contradicts his alibi and hurt his lawyer's credibility. You don't tell anybody that you're trying to convince and trying to make a point to two things that cannot possibly be true at the same time. I know how important it is for Daniel to feel his voice has been heard. So uh, hopefully this will give him a chance to, to feel that. Green's former attorney, Chris Muma. I strongly believe in, in Daniel's innocence. I do not think he was there. Uh, or involved in any way with the shooting of James Jordan. And I am ready to represent him again uh, if he ever requires representation or wants me to represent him. When you look at the substance of this filing, one, a lot of this stuff has already been covered by counsel's prior motion. We asked North Carolina Central Law Professor Tamika Moses to weigh in. And two, some of the other arguments are just not going to satisfy the requirement for a new trial. Amanda Lamb. WRAL News. The judge still hasn't made a ruling in Green's hearing that was held in December. The other person convicted in this case is Larry Demery. He remains in prison. His latest quest for parole will be considered in December. This case is the subject of a WRAL podcast, Follow the Truth, hosted by Amanda Lamb. You can find it on WRAL Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts.